Voucher. Hello and welcome to Keith's Whiskey Vlog. My name is Whiskey Tour Guide Keith, I'm sure you know that by now. And hopefully you've seen some of my other videos. If you've not, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, get on and look at some of them. And now I'm not too long back from a lovely holiday. I was over on Isla and the island of Jura on my birthday this summer. And while I was there, I took the opportunity to do some tastings using the distilleries as backdrops. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing a lovely little whiskey from the Isle of Jura with the Jura distillery in the background. So without further ado, I pass you over to Whiskey Tour Guide Keith at the Jura distillery on the wonderful island of Jura. See you after. Hello and welcome to the lovely island of Jura. I'm in the main town, Craig House. You've pretty much seen it all there. And as you can see in the background, we're right outside the Isle of Jura distillery, the only distillery on the island. Now this is my first visit. It's also my birthday today. And we've just been into the visitor shop, made a little purchase. We'll see that in a future tasting. A red wine cask finish, a Jura expression, but we're going to do a little tasting for you here since we're at the distillery. The lovely lady in the shop when I dropped the subtle hint it was my birthday gave me a nice little sample. It's a 12 year old Jura known as the Bay and it's only available either here in the distillery shop or on the Asian market. So a little bit exclusive. Now I bought myself a nice little copita glass, tasting glass for the occasion another beautiful day in Scotland. Sun's not fully out but it's nice that way. So uh, this is a 44%. It's matured in white oak, American white oak barrels. And then it's finished off in 15 year old or barrels that held 15 year old PX Pedro Jimenez sherry. Now I like my smoky whiskies and I like my sherry whiskies. So I should enjoy this one. Now a beautiful colour on uh, this whisky for a 12 year old, quite nice, nothing ridiculously dark but not too bad. Quite sweet in the nose as you'd expect. It's got that sort of Jura signature taste, it's got a little bit of um, sort of a little bit of rubber almost quite high in the nose. You get the bourbon as well, the, the bourbon oak, if you like. So no ridiculous surprises. A little bit almost, a little bit plum. Almost a little bit of rum somehow in there as well. The PX somehow from the sherry and the whiskey, you get a rum note. Okay, have a little taste. Yeah, quite close to the Bunahaven, uh, to the Bunahaven, to the Isle of Jura, 10 year old. A little bit of ginger, hint of smoke, very light, gentle smoke. Maybe the start of a campfire, um, a little bit of hay, a little bit of dough almost, maybe um, if you're baking a scone, a little bit undercooked just as it's coming up. A little bit of raisin, just a darker stewed fruit, plum, raisin, a little bit of light smoke. It's very nice. And just like that, we're away from the distillery. We've ended up on a bridge overlooking one of the paps of Jura. It's been a little bit coy up in the, the clouds there just now. But what we realised halfway through that tasting was that we'd forgotten about water. So, with a little adjust, addition of some nice Scottish spring water, we'll add water to our whisky. Just a minimum amount as usual. 
There's oh, a wee bit extra there. Swirl it round and we'll tell you a little bit what it's like with some water. Now as we drove along here in the car protecting the whiskey, you get the smell, it's really nice and rich, a really nice dram this one. So the water has certainly opened out, it's calmed it down a little bit. More fruit, more rounded, more of those sort of red fruits, bursting sort of red grape. The Christmas cake, sort of syrupy. Iced ginger cake almost. A little bit more smoke, certainly now. Not just as sweet in the mouth, certainly sweeter on the nose. So that's your 12 year old The Bay Jura. And now, before we go back to Keith in the studio, we'll go back to Keith at the distillery. So a very nice whiskey. Here's to the Isle of Jura, here's to Craig House, here's to me on my birthday. Uh, it's my 23rd birthday in case you were wondering. So um, we'll see you again in another video. But for now, back to Keith in the studio. Slange. There you go. What did you think of that? Hopefully you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, in case you were wondering what was in the bag, using the trusty whiskey tour guide Keith Pointer. This lovely bottle, you can see what attracted me to it. Lovely red colour, enhanced by the label. It's not been opened yet. I will get into that at some point and I will taste it on the video for you and let you know what I think. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that video, as I say, and if you did, check out my other videos. I filmed quite a few different ones in my time on Isla and my other videos I think aren't too bad either. If you want to learn a little bit about whiskey, about the distilleries as well as the actual tasting, then this is the place for you. And not just for whiskey but for wider information about Scotland as well. So come on Whiskey Travels with me, come and see me in my little room here tasting whiskies. We'll see you again in future at some point. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you at some point in the future. Thank you, bye, cheers.